I well, had a flat tire the other day and I went down to the tire shop to get him to change it and everything and he had a little bit of lead. I said, uh, what are you doing your lead? There it is. Take it if you want it. So I got the lead sorted out here. I got two of these. I got two more in the, on the porch. That's lead. The rest of it's all this uh, tin and I don't know, zinc, whatever they got. But there's quite a bit there, but a lot of trash too, but still not anything too bad. Uh, I'm not going to bore you too long with this, but let's see. Here's what we got going on here. Uh, that's been good set, right? Maybe so. <laughs> that's good enough. All right. What, what I do is, for one thing, you can scratch it. And if it don't sound like metal, so this will be metal here. And this will be lead. And if there's any doubt, I just take it. Uh, put it up here. Grab my trusty old torch. And see if it melts. Well, that's not melting, so that is not not lead after all. Um, but you know, sometimes you can just take and uh, take your pair of pliers and pinch on it. That one uh, seems to be lead underneath that coating of stuff. I'll put my good one in there. And these little flat ones generally are just metal. Sometimes you get, like for example, these little flat ones here are lead, you know, I already checked it. You can, I can pinch a little corner off of it, you know, and it, you couldn't do that with metal. And there's a bunch of them in here, like I said, I'm not going to bore you too long with it. But uh, then I'm gonna, I ordered a, one of them little propane burners. See, that don't sound very loud, I don't think that's metal. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's lead. Kind of, it's hard to tell by looking because some of them got this white coating on there and they're actually still lead. But now this one here, well, that broke, but I don't, yeah, I think it's lead. But anyway, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, uh, when I get my burner wheel, fix up a rig and melt this stuff. Now that one there doesn't bend, so it's not even lead. So let's process it going through here and see what all we got. All right, that's enough for now. I'll get back later when there's something better. Well, these here is the containers. These are coffee cans, of course, and that's a bigger bucket. But that's what I have after I got all that. And this is not all that stuff. It's more of it out there in the other, other shed. But uh, stuff that I know is metal and, or something that's not really bad. So when I get my burner thing rigged up, I'll see what we can do with getting this all uh, melted down and kind of put in muffin tins or something. All right. That's it for that. Make me a little... Oh, a burner pot or whatever you call this thing, I'm going to melt the lead in. This is a golf cart wheel here, and uh, I'm going to put legs on whatever I've done with them. Here. Uh, okay. What we got here is, uh, get this thing back. I already, I already checked this once, but we'll do it again. There's the, uh, <laughs> there's the, uh, what the hell? Let's see another down there. What's going on? All right, anyway, that's the valve stem. So we'll roll it along with the tape measure. <laughs> Whoop, it's not going to work very good. Anyway, that's close enough. All right, looks like we got about 29 inches. <laughs> that's close enough to 30. I'm going to count off uh, uh, 10 inches around there and attempt to uh, put that. Put some legs on that thing. So, and I'll put this over here. I'll probably have to cut out part of the junk because it's probably hard to see. <clears throat> what do we got there? Let's see here. Going around here. Can't see much that way, but I guess it's not. I don't know. <laughs> probably. Man, that guy's got a quiet motorcycle. He'll mess around and make a lot of racket. Like some of them do. It's hard to hear. Okay. Let's see. Got to take this off. There it is. Okay. Here. Here. Got the tans right here.
Hannah right there. And the uh, hands right here. See, not just right. That's that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Before we'll transfer that over here. And over here. These little pins are okay when they work. And this one's here. There's that. Now, let's see. I don't know exactly how to get that just right. I guess I could use a square around the cross there. I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Be back in a minute. Let's see if that'll work. Alright. <coughs> I don't know if it's going to work out or not. Run this square. I would think that it would be. They can't really get the statements very good on that, but breezy. Okay, bring it over here on this side. Now, hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. Now, I'm going to take it down there and attempt to weld the legs on it, but there ain't much point in watching that because I'm not too good of a welder anyway, so it won't learn much there. But I shall be back in a little bit, hopefully. Well, ain't too cute, but I think it'll work. Uh, the pot sets on there pretty substantial as I figured. And it's kind of inside that, but, but still, I don't know. I think with it lead in it, it'd be hard to turn over. If I think it will be, I'll just wheel some little ears up here to that stand uh, made out of three pieces of angle iron. I don't know if they're straight or not, but I, I never did go in for high class on anything. And so as long as it works and don't fall over, well, that's good enough. And on top of this, um, I got that burner ordered for it, and it should be here tomorrow. And I'll put that in here and uh, come up under. Oh, come up in here. I don't know if they need more holes or not. I might have to bore some holes in it, but I'm gonna. It'll also use for when we uh, pick chickens. We can use this to heat the water on. I think. Which so, though, what we've been using is the uh, um, barbecue grill thing, and it's not very. It takes forever to heat your water up on that. So. We'll see what happens. I guess that's it for now. I'll get my burner and then we'll get the burner in and see how that's going to work. All right, that's it for now. We got the burner today for the, the hose, of course. It's going to go in here, but I got to, I'm going to take my uh, plasma cutter and cut a spot out of here. Well, oh, shit, I didn't know thing right. Cut a spot out of here somewhere where it come down here. And hopefully, it's bend this down then and have a place to mount it. It's got a mounting screw on the back. But uh, it's pretty warm over there by the shop. Not much air blowing and everything, so I'm going to wait till later to evening season and maybe do that. Cut this out and, and run this thing in there somehow or the other. And hope it works out pretty good. I think it will. We'll see what we can do with it. But anyway, that's it for right now. Not much more of an update until we get that, get that done. Alrighty, well, I got my burner rigged up in this wheel. And. Uh, when I had to I put these on here because, and I don't like this idea much because it's blocking too much, I'm going to cut them off and just try to cut, take a plasma cutter and cut these and use these for sniggles. Anyway, I got to, I didn't, I didn't show this. I don't know, this looks like a mess. I hope that's not, I mean, very well might be uh, zinc. And I don't, they may all be because I didn't, I didn't find out for sure how to check on that to make sure whether it's zinc lead or metal or whatever the metal part don't make no difference but the others the zinc could so i went through hello there kitty i got another cat up there anyway the uh i went through those again and uh, found quite a bit of of uh, zinc in there and some metal so the next bunch will be different than that but i'm gonna 
go ahead and uh, I mean, like I say, take a plasma cutter and try to splice this off, and then just put single pieces up in here, cut little slots in the wheel here, you know, and well, see how that works, you know, because uh, when I put this down, well, I'm too heavy to lift one hand anyway, probably, but when you put this up here like this, oh, get up here, that's very great, but it blows far out through here, and I don't think that's a good idea, you know, because there's no, um, I guess, place for the flames to go. That's why I need to set it up higher a little bit and give it some air space in between. So we'll get around doing that later on and getting that taken care of. See how it goes. Like I say, these lead things, I don't know. I don't know if it's pure lead. I guess I'm using that. I don't know if it's pure lead or if it's got that other junk in it, but whatever. You know. Not a big deal one way or another. I'll just use the others. I don't. I want to make a dust shot mold somehow there, but I don't exactly know how to do that. I've seen a lot of people did it on the uh, internet, but uh, they got machines that I don't have. So. All right, that's enough of my rambling on here, so we'll see what happens later on. I made this little cross piece in here so that pot can sit there and it can't really slide out very easily. I don't say it can't, but it no, not very easily. And then we'll put the pot back up here. We'll get up. Okay, this sets pretty good on there. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to get that thing warmed up and we'll melt some more lead here. I got the, what the hell is that? Somebody back there in the little car. Anyway, we got, we got some Ellie Mae cupcakes here. They're pretty hard. Uh, but anyway, we'll get back here in a little bit when we got uh, something going on. Well, for some reason, them things that want to come out of the muffin tin is too good. Anyway, we're melting some more of this stuff here. I uh, kind of do it little by little because I don't. There may be some of that zinc stuff in here, and I don't want to, I checked it with a, you know, diagonal cutter and everything, but sometimes you wonder if you did a good job, you know, so if there's anything in here that don't melt very readily, I'm going to take it out. I thought I had it all separated before, but I don't know. Turn this down a little bit. I don't really have a thermometer to check. Somewhere around 650, I think, for lead melts around that. And the uh, uh, zinc is 7 something. It's not a real big uh, difference, but. So, you know, it wouldn't be too hard to get above that. Take all these clips out of here first. Yeah, it's kind of warm in the old hands. I should have a longer spoon, but I don't, so that's the name of that tune. Let me see here. She can't really get that a little closer. around here and get something on fire for El Vira. Here, I don't know if you can see this little bit of camera here. It's basically good, but just knock everything over. Okay, if I get any more clumps here, you know what I'm gonna do. Put too many at a time. I mean, you can put the whole pot full, but there again, I don't want to make a mistake and get the wrong stuff in here. I may have on that first batch anyhow. Clip. It seemed odd that they float, you know, you think they're heavy, but they're not as heavy as that lead is. So they come up on there. So. There we go. And there's another one. 
some people say they flux it with, well they show them doing it on YouTube, they flux it with sawdust. And I don't guess it matters much, I don't know. But some of them use wax, and wax does have a chance to flare up. off for now and uh, uh turn it the right way there you go so it's pretty hot and we don't need to get extremely hot where the where it will melt the uh zinc if it happens to be in there and this is still hot enough to melt some lead here i don't know uh Mutton tins didn't work where the hoop because they're not coming loose. I, I think I made my mistake by not spraying some of that. What do you call that stuff you spray in the in your bacon dish? Uh, supposed to anti stick it. I don't know if that would work with lead though, but it's supposed to work for other stuff. Pam, I think that's the name of that stuff. That's the name brand. They make a bunch of different ones. Alright, well, pretty much this is uh, more of the same, so there's no point in trying to drag this thing all the way out for not, not much of anything. If you, you've seen one, you've seen them all. That's the old way. The way I say it. Get this stuff out here, and then we'll let you guys go back to your, back to your post. Alright. I think that's probably going to be it for this lead situation, so we'll, we'll take care and we'll see you later.